This video is gonna cover Moderna mRNA. It's had an incredible call-fueled gamma squeeze since the start of the month from around 350 all the way up to 500, and then suddenly the rug was pulled. Primarily today, it is down almost 20%. So what happened? Well, if you flip over to our equity hub, we can give you an idea of exactly why the stock is moving like it is. There are two things we wanna show you. First, the largest call position in the stock is the 500 strike. So this is the strike that had the most call open interest. Second, the largest put open interest is at the 350 strike. So if we flip back to the chart, you can see that 500 was never quite achieved, right? It stalled just before that line, and now we're zooming down to where all of the puts are positioned at 350. So what happened is, on this squeeze, traders piled into out-of-the-money calls. The bulk of those calls were centered at the 500 strike, and the stock hit that level, and now those calls have all started to decay. And they've started to decay rapidly. And as the stock drops, those calls decay even more. And as those calls decay, market makers can start to sell off long stock hedges that they may have in place. And to top that off, there are all these put positions that are down around the 350 area that gain in value, which means that market makers may need to sell even more stock that fuels this gamma squeeze down. Typically when the stock is dropping, we kind of refer to this as a gamma trap because as the calls burn up and the puts increase in value, dealers need to sell more and more shares of stock. Now the key thing for Moderna bulls here is that 50% of the total gamma position expires on this upcoming Friday. So all of these call positions will now be wiped out and a huge chunk of the put positions will also be removed. So we think that's gonna be a big weight that is lifted off of the stock. Now for the next two days, this 350 to 380 level is probably where the stock settles. And we could determine that by flipping back over to our equity hub. Again, you can see here about 50% of the gamma expires on 813. Now if we make a mention on today's volume, we can see that there is very large volume at the 400 strike, both on the put and call side. There is also 25,000 contracts so far traded at the 380 strike for this upcoming Friday. And then there's only 18,000 so far traded down at 350. So we're not so sure that the put pressure can lean on this thing all the way down to 350, but we do think it's gonna be pretty sticky in and around this current price of 375. If the stock does come down to 350, we consider that a pretty good buying opportunity. And note that over these next several days, that it is likely that a lot of these short dated puts are going to lose some of their value as we approach options expiration. Again, if you're a bull for this week, 350 may be interesting, but we also think that on Monday, you'll have a much cleaner option set up for the stock to regain some of those higher prices that were seen earlier this month. Now, if you found this information helpful, you can pop over to spotgamma.com. If you hit the subscribe now button, you can get a free trial, which gives you access to analyze the options position in over 3,500 different stocks, as well as a daily note, which covers the S&P and NASDAQ indices.